Hello and welcome to another day of 31 art journals. So, this is a um, example, this is a small, um, what I would call an art journal still. It is, it was a children's book and um, what I did with this particular one was take off the, the kind of the glossy layer and then gesso it. So, if you've got, you know, old children's books that, or I was going to say that your kids have had, but I mean, I've got some books um, that I'd brought for my son that the illustration is just so beautiful. There's no way I would kind of, you know, do anything on it. And it's it's nice to pass pass these things on. But I would normally go to like a charity charity store and you know whatever's whatever's there especially the hardback hard yeah hardbacked ones you know they're useful and you're going to kind of pay i mean i must have paid like i don't know 10 pence it's like not much for something that you know is going to be something that you could use anyway so the other thing that's on this journal is some beads um these beads were I can't remember where they came from but they're those plasticky ones that you you know those oh yeah so I must have brought something in my supermarket um sometimes you get these packs of kids things where you know they can make a bracelet or something and some of the things that are contained in it is actually really quite useful so for the sake of you know I don't know a pound two pounds or a three dollars maybe in your case um, you can buy these and use whatever you need to use for whatever you need to use it for and then whatever's left you can um, utilize in other ways so these actually quite fit because the journal title is a star is born and um, in here what I wanted to um, the essence of it is about recognizing your gifts and celebrating yourself, celebrating you. And I think all the journals that you will see is about me celebrating who I am. And, um, you know, it's like, like, like that dipping your toe in the water and just getting used to the environment, um, working on your gifts, working your craft, and then whether you want to share it with the world is, is up to you. But, you know, sharing it in your journal, for me, sharing it in my journal is an important thing. So let's just have a look through it. So in this, I was, I was kind of looking at or expressing myself in terms of colour. But also, um, it was about change. And so this says, uh, love, light, possibilities. I am perfect. I can do all things through my Heavenly Father who gives me strength. Again, my faith is really important for those who, of you who um, relate to that. Um, needing to feel, needing to feel, feeling the need for more. There is more to the life that I'm living. I need to step out of the box and, and loose the chains. Freedom comes at a price. So whatever you do in life, there is a price to be paid, whether it's time, discipline, um, the effort that you're putting in, anything worth doing and doing well takes effort. Um, and at the time, I can't remember her name, there's an artist who, she does a lot of large-eyed girls and they have this, you know, kind of, their eyelashes are kind of glistening. And so I just wanted to practice that as well. It's my first mermaid. <laughs> but, um, and in here, I think, did I write a note or it was a space to be able to write a note. Ooh, yes. This is um, first, first Corinthians 13, verse four to nine which says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. 
It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And again, for me, that was a reminder. See, there's a little heart there. Again, it's like all these little scraps that you may have. There are things that you can, if you're making, like, especially when if you're making kind of these small types of journals or journals with embellishments, with um, layers attached, you can, you know, save these things up or, you know, this was from a scrap of paper I cut out a heart, but that actually looks really effective on here. And then you've just got a little bit of string to, um, did I do it in a bow? Let me see. Yeah, I think I did it in a, a little bow looks kind of, when you open it, it feels, it felt actually quite good to open it with the bow on it rather than just tying it in a knot. There we go. So when I need another reminder, because I totally forgot that that was there or what it said. So the pages were gessoed um, and as I said with these, I took off the layer. Um, you don't actually need to do that. You can if you want. I mean, it, what it means is if you take off that layer and it's still quite thick as a book, you don't necessarily need to gesso it. I mean, the, the book would then absorb quite a lot of paint. But the gesso, as I said, acts as a tooth. Um, or what you can do is sand the page lightly and then gesso it and then you're good to go. I don't think I've finished this book, so I've I've allowed for me to come back. Again, I like creating faces, I like creating my own faces, and I spent um, about a year, I think, just practicing faces, um, but it's, it's something I enjoy doing anyway, like I do like doing portraits. But I wanted to create my own faces. So again, these are in every journal there's something that has not yet been finished but it means that I can always come in and dip into this one if I'm like if I've got some pieces of this just happens to be on my desk this is again some of the jean fabric I think I showed you in my last journal the jean fabric but when you coat it with gesso you can paint any color you want and that was that's its normal colour, see? But, um, so I can add things to it. I can do stitching. So like I did, all I did around the edges of the journal, the sun's coming in now. It's been raining for the last three days. Um, so it's nice that the sun can shine now. Um, yeah, so I made holes around the edges of the front of the book and this wire is the same wire that came with the book. So there you have it. This is an altered book, um, an altered journal, and it's just a small one. Just had four pages, of, you know, one of those um, for the younger children. But it's again one that I can come back to and I can continue to work on. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed looking through this um, journal with me and just remember that you're a star as well so whenever whenever a baby's born that's another star being born there um, oh I didn't see that as well so on this page one of the things that I did I don't know whether you can see there's writing underneath so I wrote out my intention first and then I added to it encouraging and positive words and just imagery as you've seen so far so when we um, come to next month what I'll probably be doing is one of these pages so that you can see um, me working on it okay so thank you for watching um, thank you for joining me today look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we do another journal um, let me know let me know what you like about this particular journal or um, things that may be going through your mind as to what you could possibly do um, 
If you need any more advice about altering the journal, I'd be happy to answer any queries. Or what I'll do is, um, at some point, if you want to see me um, alter this kind of book, um, a children's book, I'll be quite happy to do a video of how you go about it. But leave a comment and let me know that that's what you'd like. And um, I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.